<laughs> Let me uh, welcome in a winner, my man, a good friend of mine. I've been knowing this cat uh, for about 15 years now. One of the funniest guys in the business, um, <laughs> actor, comedian. Uh, he is now a uh, producer, big time producer on Feel one maker. of the best documentaries on Amazon right now, Fat Tuesday. Jack, guy Tory in the house. What's, What's up, guy? man? What's good to on? see you, man. Excuse my hat. Uh, I didn't have a chance to get a haircut before I came to the show. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my hairline is kind of like yours, Mike. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got that free safety airline. It's backing up. <laughs> and, and only covering certain areas. So, excuse the hat. I know it, it, it's called Beijing. Tell, tell, it, it's important no, for I the ain't brothers. Doing the Beijing. You don't do the Beijing? No, I ain't doing the Beijing. I'm just going, you know, God Because it would just blend is, in with your skin color. God is my barber now. God is your barber. Yeah, God is my barber now. It, I'm just going to have to. Fall out with my follicles and just tough it out. It, it, it's just, it's important in our community oh. to go get a fresh haircut yes, every it week. Yes, it Make you feel better. Does, does it make your skin feel clearer? It does. It, even though it, it's just clear. I'm, haircut, is it helps your self-esteem, man. It does. Right. So right now, I'm really low right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you just got off the plane. You just came in from Oakland? J real, literally right across the street. Came in from Oakland. I was in Oakland, California last night. I left just like all the teams are leaving, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love Oakland. But no, my good friend Lunell, very funny comedian, yeah. shot her comedy special last night. She's from Oakland. Dave Chappelle uh, produced it, and wow. I had to go support support her. Every time I've called on her, she's come to my pro projects, my documentary, everything. So I had to fly in, surprise her, pull up on her, yeah. and just support her. Heavy hitters, man. Uh, you didn't get on stage last night? No, man. Tony Rock killed it last night, you know, opening the show for her. And Lunell, she's a queen. No, I was just a fan last night. You know, what, and Gary Payton. What, what, oh, you saw GP? GP was GP, there last night. Wait, wait, what's GP up to now? Man, he's uh, we're working on a project together, man. But he, he was coaching, and, you know, the big three is starting. Right. up again so he's getting ready for the big three Cute. yeah so yeah. yeah uh one thing i love about you man is like you're unfiltered <laughs> uh, yeah. you, you are unfiltered you will say what's <laughs> on your mind no matter who's there you will talk about people's mamas yeah and you know Dead but you 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 and one, <laughs> well, you, <laughs> you you uh i think you really came in the fame i think was it at the shack roast man. or emmett smith's roast it, it was a shack all-star comedy roast uh featuring honoring Emma Smith. Okay, featuring honoring Emma Smith, and you go in on everybody. It's ironic that you bring that up because just right before I went to Oakland, they're doing a documentary on that roast. Really? That's how iconic that roast was and still is. Is that they're doing a documentary on it? With Jamie Fox, Doug Williams uh, segment was just like Hall of Fame. If there was a Hall of Fame or a GOAT of of, com of roast moments, Jamie Foxx, Doug Williams, not the football player Doug Williams, comedian yeah. Doug Williams, moment was the best. Doug Williams doesn't want to remember that. Doug Williams oh, was man. like, that was like Kwame no and, 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 and Biggie. Biggie. Yeah. Yeah when, yeah, when Biggie said something about the, the uh, polka dots. Yeah, and Kwame was in a, in, a, in a club with women around him, and they put on a Biggie song, and Biggie had a lyric saying, you played out like Kwame's polka dots. <laughs> and I heard the women <laughs> left his side. Real quick, and that's what Jamie Foxx kind of did with oh uh, Doug God. Williams that Jamie, night. That it was, was the funniest roast, roast moment in the history of roast. So when you're on stage and you're and you are in the city and you see an NBA player or NFL player or whatnot, yeah. and you start going in, has right. anyone ever gotten upset with you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I, you know the, the Shaq roast. I mean, now I've spoken with him and we cool. But Jason Kidd, you know, when the Lakers beat the Nets in the series, uh, doing that roast, I talked about. Uh, Jason Kidd's son, who's who I met. Oh, about he's, he's weeks grown ago. now. Yeah, he's grown. Yeah. He grew into that head. Because um, he. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he looks look like Mr. Stay Puff now from Ghostbusters. <laughs> but, but, uh, but yeah, no, and I, I met him, and it was it's all good, it's all clear. I was, I was scared of Jason for years, dot running from him. Really? Because I thought he wanted to, you know. Like, so so you heard that he was looking for you? I heard through, yeah, through Sha at Shaq's wedding when he got married one of the times. Uh, like you, Mike. Um, <laughs> he said that, that that Jason wasn't too happy about the, you know, me talking about a different TJ, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, and I was scared. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. But I I, I, I Facetime with them. Uh, you know, during the end of the season, last season, everything is all good. All good now. Yeah. All good now. Big Lakers fan. Huge. Huge. How, on, how long did it take you to get past uh, the uh, Western Conference Finals? Well, you know what's funny is, is that in the first half of the season, I kind of didn't have expectations. I'm a, I'm a big Ham fan, you know, the, the coach of the Lakers. 
and I, I, I but we just weren't winning. Mm. But then Palinka, you know, went in his bag of tricks and some magic dust up, uh -huh. and then we, you know, we got in the playoffs and we went further. But I kind of had no expectations because it's still new players gelling and everything. So it was good that we got as deep as we got. You know, I'm, you know, it is what it is. But I can't wait to see uh, next year's team. Is LeBron going to be on the team? Oh yeah, he be there. LeBron ain't going. So anywhere. you don't feel like the the whole retirement talk is no, just him talking. No, nah, it's in the moment, in his... prisoner moment. So he he, he going to be back. Okay. Yeah, he okay. going to be back. We're, we going to have some. We got to get some new players in there. A few new pieces. What do they need? Woo! Well, you know what's surprising is because I love uh, you know Schroeder, mm -hmm. you know as as the point guard, and you know. Chris Paul is out there. I would love to see Chris Paul get a ring. So I mean, you want okay? So you want Chris Paul? Yeah. Who, and I love Chris Paul. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Because I'm he, he playoff Chris Paul doesn't stay healthy. But you know what? But LeBron is breaking down a little bit, yeah. and Anthony Davis is right. a game time decision before the game yeah. starts. <laughs> oh. AD stands yeah. for any day he may not play. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. But no, I think I, a few more pieces, man. I think Ham is is a great coach, man. I think we're gonna be all right. All right, and yeah. you're also a huge St. Louis Cardinals fan too, from St. Louis, Louis. Fan, period. And you're going to uh, England, London, London, London. This year, last year, well, the, London's the, in England. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. but you know, but I want to make it. You <laughs> okay, know. okay. Uh, last year, the Red Sox and the Yankees played uh, in London. Mm -hmm. This year, it's the Cardinals and the Cubs. So I said, you know what? I've never been to London. I'm going to go check out my squad. So I'm going, my sister and I were going over to London. So you're going over there for the game? Just for the game. And just so happens, my nephew, shout out to Eric McWoods, plays soccer for Sweden. And that's You have a professional West. soccer player in your, in, your, in your family? Yeah. Yeah, man. Really? Yeah, yeah. A professional person, period. Nobody else is professional. Unless you call <laughs> stripping a profession. A couple of sisters who are strippers. But, um,. <laughs> <laughs> do they, but yeah, they, 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 the they know Zion? Huh? Do they know Zion? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm going to have to see if they slipped in his DMs. Uh, yeah, so I'm going over for, just for the Cardinals Cubs game and catch my nephew in the soccer game. That's awesome, man. That, that, that must make you feel really proud, man, to see oh, yeah. a guy that's a professional. Man, I watched this kid uh, go from a young age, man, through high school through college and now playing professional. Is this man. the same kid that I met when I came to LA I think that it time? Is, yeah. When he brought him to the airport when I came over here and I was hanging out with I believe so. This believe is so. Joe's son. No, it's not Joe's son, no. Oh, Joe, it's not Joe's yeah, son. Joe kids aren't athletic at all. <laughs> okay. uh, this is my sister Roberta's uh, she's a star. No, Joe is an athletic kid, T J. But uh another T J. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh yeah, no, it's, this is Eric McWood. This is my sister's son. And you, uh, you actually got uh, an athlete. You and Joe have an athletic background, oh, too, yeah, right? Oh, yeah, man. I was, I was nice. I was nice with it, man. I played football, man. You played in, in high school? In high school. Played against Trent Green in high school. In tr oh, really? How yeah. did that go? Uh, man. <laughs> How would you describe your high school career? Yo, my high school career was great. The rest of the team was terrible. <laughs> 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 but I was great. And Trent Green... Uh, only played three quarters because they they was beating us that bad. Oh wow! Okay. So bad that they took us off the schedule the next season. Yeah, we this is we, we're not playing this. Yeah, team not yet. the JV team. Yeah, no, we won JV. We no. varsity, but we played. They, we look like a JV team. What, what position did you play? Uh, I was running back and uh, receiver. Running back and, and receiver. And defensive back. I was. I played three positions. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. All right. How far do you think you could have gone if you would have had a good team? Oh man, I'd have had a ring. I'd have been in college. I'd have had a bowl. I'd have had a ring. But, you know, I picked up a microphone instead. And the rest is history. Hey, man, and you're a pretty good comedian, man. Great. Thank great. You. I'm sorry. Go, yes. Great. I'm sorry. Goat. Great comedian. Goat. You're one. Okay. Uh, go. Because oh, I'm a Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. A goat's a goat, man. We always talking about greatest of all time, right? The, the goats out yeah. there. When it comes to, and you you've always made a distinction between Comedian and comic. Right. What's the difference between a comedian There's and a comic? There's comics and there's comedians, all right? Comic says funny things. Okay. A comedian makes things funny. Okay. A comedian is someone that you get, they, they're transparent. They take you on a journey. They tell you they're vulnerable. They, they tell you their life. They make their life funny. Okay. You know, comics is set up punch, set up punch. You don't know who they are as a person. When you leave the show, yo, you laughed, you had a good time, but who is this person? Comedian? You know who this person is. You, 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 they take you on a ride. You grow with them. You, you know exactly uh, where they're coming from. So who are going. some great comedians right now? Right Comedi now? Comedians oh my that God. take you on that so journey. So many, man. Uh, is that the Chappelle's of the world? Chappelle, obviously? Yeah. Tony Rock, Chris Rock. 
you know, uh, uh, Mike Epps. I love DC Young Fly. You know, a young one of the young guns coming up, Cedric mm-hmm. the Entertainer. I mean, the, the kings of comedy for sure. Right. But then there's so many others, man. That uh, uh, Cat Williams. I mean, you name it. They are some funny, funny cats. Uh, Earthquake. Earthquake. Yeah. I mean, Joe Torrey, my brother. I gotta say that because it's in the, our family contract. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Torrey. Uh, yeah, so many funny comedians out there. Lunell, who just beasted it on stage in Oakland for her special. Mm. You know, Marlon Wayans has grown into a a, a great stand. His last stand oh, was excellent. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very well written, mm-hmm. executed. So yeah, it's, a, it's so many name. I know I'm forgetting some people. Are gonna be mad. Mark Curry, you know, another Oak Town guy. So yeah, it was a lot of funny comedians. Yeah, Cedric the Entertainer from St. Louis, Louis. All those yes, guys, sir. like you said, the whole Kings of Comedy. Is there one comedian that you, not that you'd be afraid to follow anybody? Right, but you shouldn't be. But, if you think but, you're one of the best, you shouldn't be afraid to follow anybody. But is there one person that you have followed? Let's say that you have followed that mm-hmm. you're like, uh. I, I I gotta bring like, can you remember a show? Well, well, the thing about it is I hadn't had to follow too many of those those guys. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. They, they're the headliners, but mm. I would say when I hosted the Kings of Comedy, I was the first host of the Kings of Comedy tour. Bernie Mac. Mm. I mean, Cedric gave me some you know some struggle too, but Bernie Mac was that dude man that just left nothing on stage. He left it all on he left it all on the stage, but left nothing, no stones unturned. I mean, wow. I mean, he set it on fire. Yeah, he did. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, gone man. too soon, bro. One of my man. favorite comedians of all time. Uh, NBA Finals going on right now. Let's yeah. talk a little sports, man. A little bit more sports, yeah, man. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Denver Nuggets, Miami Heat. Nobody expected, you know, this NBA Finals matchup. But right. we're here now, game four. What you expect tonight? I thought, I thought Miami was win game three. Okay. But they didn't. I think they'll win game four. Why? Uh, I think they're, they're going to figure it out. Uh, you know, Coach Bo is is a hell of a coach, and you know he's going to figure out what they did wrong in Game Three, and he's going to fix it, and they're going to win Game Four. Are you concerned when I when I hear Jimmy Butler talking about the effort, the energy, right? And I heard Michael Malone talk about the energy in Game Two after Game Two after the loss. Like, does that surprise you? I'm uh, surprised because it's the NBA Finals, G. Right. You know what I mean? The NBA you shouldn't need motivation. You shouldn't need motivation. Right. The championship right. is motivation. Yeah, but uh, you know, any given day. I mean, there's some days you know, as a stand-up man. I, I I just ain't got it. You know, and you want it, but it's it's just the universe and the stars are not aligned. Okay, it's but it's not but, your day. Okay, but if you so so for for example, you finally you know you great comedian, right? Yeah. And you've you've goat. done it for many years. A goat, one of the goats. But you finally get this. Everybody wants this Netflix special. Right. Right? Right. Or, you well, got, it's not just Netflix. There's a lot of streaming uh, platforms. Oh, oh Amazon. I'm sorry. You were yeah, Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Don't you mess finally, with money you, you, you finally got that big <laughs> special. You finally got this big showcase, right. right? And it's your time to be on stage. Right. Is your energy going to be down? It depends. Sometimes you can get too, you know, too, too anxious, have anxiety, and it can work against you. You never know what you're going to do on that day. That's the thing. You just got to be ready and Hopefully all the training you did and the muscle memory will allow you to have a good game or a good show. Because mm-hmm. you've done it so many times. It's, it's muscle memory after a while. Right, right, so right. So you don't know. You, 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 you're you hoping everything is aligned right. Right. You, you, everything, yeah, because you can get over emotional too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can call, get a call, you know, in the middle of the day that could, you know, from, a, from an ex or something. Oh, man. And, oh, you know, you know had to is. bring that up. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 it, and it could be just ruin the rest of your day, your energy, kill your energy. So that's why on days where you have, I think, shows are very something important, a game, you got isolate yourself. Mm. And, 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 and isolate yourself and keep, I, I don't even answer the phone sometimes if I have a very important show. No? Really? Okay. Therapy works for me. Oh, yeah. Therapy. Therapy is the 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 the, the, the uh, cure for everything. Yes, to, to be with you. same here. Yeah, cigars and tequila therapy. Yeah, that's really good <laughs> therapy. Yeah, in other ways too uh, that I can't mention. <laughs> that's how I got these shoes on my. <laughs> yeah, I, stop. I got these. I got. Some, I got a pair. Of, I, I got a story to tell you. How I got a pair of Louis Vuitton shoes. I, I, I saw the shoes, man. The most expensive shoe I ever bought in my life, and the most uncomfortable shoe I ever wore in my life. Yeah, my feet was my toes was throwing uh, gang signs. Right? Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, my feet after after about thirty minutes, my feet was killing. It me. makes you wonder why women buy these expensive shoes. They look good in them. Louis Vuittons, the red bottoms. Yes. And they say they're so uncomfortable. They could take more pain than we can. Well, that's obvious. They uh, have yeah. babies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They so, don't think we can so have they, a baby. They, they yeah. But you see, at the end of the night, you know, we had a club at the end of the night, and the girls being mean to you. It's not you. 
It's her feet. <laughs> her feet like, hey, we better get up out of here. You know we hurt. You know? And she like, no, but he, he good looking. He got, I don't care. Them feet, them feet start throwing gangs out. Like, yo, we better get up out of here. Raise up off me. Her feet start set tripping with her. <laughs> it's the feet. It's not you. So don't, fellas, don't lose your confidence when a woman is, is not giving you play at the end of the night. It's her feet. It's her feet. If all you do is take over to the couch, ask permission first, mm. and say, can I just rub your feet and talk to you? We get a long way, but ask. Just don't do it. How often does that work for you, guy? Um, it's never worked. <laughs> <laughs> it's never worked. It's never worked. It's never worked. Have you? Have they actually gotten to the point where they've allowed you to sit down and and put their feet in your lap? Well, sometimes once to take them shoes off, then you know. <laughs> <laughs> you changed your mind. Yeah. Oh, man. It's Cheetos, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you was talking about Gary Payton earlier. Oh, yeah. You met, you saw him, and you said, uh, you asked him a question. Yeah, you know, it was, you know, two goats talking last night, you mm -hmm. know, uh, a Hall of Famer and a Capricorn. <laughs> 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 and, and he was just asking, you know, man, Tony Rock and I was asking him questions like, yo, who was the hardest, like, to guard in, mm -hmm. the, in your career? And he said, John Stockton. Wow, yeah. Who's thinking, wow. of course. Magic, or, or no, not Magic. Michael Magic, Jordan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Magic Mike, one, one Michael year. Jordan. Yeah, yeah Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. said John Stockton. He said John wow. Stockton was smart. Yeah. A smart player and would, like, light you up and, it like, a silent assassin. See, now, see, this goes to my point, right? This goes to my point. What's your point? John Stockton, top five, should be a top five point guard of all time. All time assist leader. Never won the championship, but Shooter he was short. Short shorts just played the game. Oh, yeah, they played in some some Zoom go go shorts. I was making the point earlier. Nikola Jokic will be a top five center of all time. But when you name the top five centers of all time thirty years from now, yeah. you won't remember his name. You you you, you don't think so? Because I he's, think if he wins, no. If he well, if he wins, well, if he wins multiple, if he wins four or five championships, maybe. But if he wins this one championship or doesn't win the championship at all, it, despite how great he's been. Because he's just not dynamic. Right. I don't think people, just like Tim Duncan, right. the greatest power forward of all time. And both built terrible. They're both <laughs> built like a refrigerator box. There's just, just like, there's no definition in the arms. None. You know, uh, Duncan's hairline was always jacked, like yours, uh, was always jacked up. Yogi's nose was always red, like he's like Rudolph, the red nose center. Uh, yeah, just built terrible, but but dynamic. Just. I think that I think he will be in the conversation thirty years from now. Ah, he's he's incredible, man. I just think I, I, he should be. That's what I'm saying. Right. He should be. And right. and when when people say, "What about Jokic?" Oh, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. He's definitely top five. Right. right. That's the way he built, they'll remember Nikola Jokic. Right. Because he's just not that dynamic. Should have been MVP. Person. Yeah. Should you you think so? I think Over so. Joel Embiid this year. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Three time yeah. MVP. Who's be the still first playing? Expert. Huh? Who's still playing? But you know, it's a regular season of all. Who's still playing? Well, that's true, but it's still a regular and season. And Embiid is a beast. Don't get it I twisted. I love Embiid. Had a but great season. I, 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 defense matters, though. Yeah, yeah. The Rams didn't, you know, they when it came to defense. We going there? No, I'm just saying. I thought that was Aaron a nice Don segue. All we need is Aaron Donald. Yeah, that's all you need is Aaron Donald. Yeah. What about uh, your Giants? We made the playoffs last year. Okay. What did you? What would the Rams do? Don't worry about it. We had more current <laughs> championship. <laughs> huh? Right? Huh? More current championship more, than uh, current. Current. 2019, 2020. Yeah. Uh, we we talking about Kurt. That's what we yeah, doing now. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. see. That's what we're I used to always get into. Us. We used to always oh. get into an argument with Red Sox fans. Oh, who won <laughs> in the who's won in the two thousands? I'm like, hey, twenty seven championships, bro. I mean, are you serious oh. when it comes to Yankees and the, come on, man. We, we ain't doing we that. We're back. not doing that. We're not doing that. I had an upgrade once. I and I get upgraded all the time. Yep. Uh, I had some horror st upgrade stories though. It was uh, I almost took out. Russell Westbrook. Like, it would have been no more Russell Westbrook. I was flying back to L.A. from Miami, and Russell Westbrook was on my flight along with Amber Rose, and our plane breaks down. Mm -hmm. So now we got to go back to the terminal, and they rebook us on a flight four hours later, and I lost my upgrade. So, so now to to I'm from first class in a middle seat in coach. <laughs> middle seat. And in that four hours, I bump into my ex-wife and her new husband. <laughs> In the airport, oh. for the first time, and and I and our new husband, she married up. Because <laughs> he was five, six five, five. He was six five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she married up, and so now I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute, we're all going back to L.A. I'm now in coach in the middle seat. They're doing very well, so I know they're in first class. And I'm like, if I gotta walk past them in first to go to coach, oh. 
I'm taking this plane down. I mean, no, more, <laughs> no more Amber Road. We are we, we, we are going all going down today. <laughs> we almost and, had and, a situation. And, and I found out that they're on a different flight. Ooh, and I was like, Lord, God. won't he do it? Yeah, won't, won't he do, do it? it? Won't, won't he do it? Yeah, I but I, just... My ego couldn't have taken that. No, no, I don't think to you could. To walk past yeah. my ex-wife and her new husband. And first class. And first class to go to coach in the <laughs> middle seat. He probably would have given you a little snicker. Like, Man, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> hey, speaking of uh, speaking of planes, how about the Jets? Hey. Oh, you see the little hey. 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 man. Everybody's talking about the Jets in the AFC this year because of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, man. Aaron Rodgers came out today. I think we got some new sound from Aaron Rodgers talking about uh, you know spent all those seasons in Green Bay. He'd been in New York a hot second, and this is what he's saying already. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was it was good. Uh, yeah, I had originally planned on being back on the West Coast for at least a week to get with my uh, bodywork people and my trainers. But uh, when I hurt my calf, it was best that I was just here the entire time rehabbing and then uh, just being around the guys. So made for a lot of opportunities for some, you know, some get-togethers in the city and um, obviously, you know, Taylor Swift concert and uh, we had some good team dinners and uh, a lot of hangout times. So that was good. The last six weeks have been about a most fun I've had in a while so it's fun to come to work and be excited about what we're doing we got a great quarterback room to be able to work with uh, Todd Downing and Rob and Hacks in there all the time and you know we get some other randoms coming and sit in the room which is nice too but to work with Zach and Tim and Chris has been a lot of fun most fun he's had in a while. Wow. And they got a great quarterback room because he's Ooh. now in the quarterback room. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Quarterback yeah. room wasn't that great before, before, before him. Right. No, 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 no. They was grounded. Now they're, they're back flying high. Now they're flying. A lot of expectations on this uh, this Jets team this year, man. Yeah, if they, if they don't win and win early, he's, he's, he's going to be the host of Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm concerned. I'm concerned about Aaron Rodgers. I'm, you know, only because, you know, I was born in New York, and I know um, New York's all my teams in New York, right. Giants fan, Yankees, Knicks. I know it that. takes a certain mentality to play oh, yeah. in New York. Yeah, you're right. And not just because of the fans, but because of the media. The fans, though. The fans are tough. Let me tell you, I went to a draft at the Radio City Music Hall years ago, and, the you know, the Jet crew was there, right? Mm -hmm. And this little kid... And his dad was there. A kid had to be maybe 10, 11 years old with a Browns jersey on. When I tell you those grown butt men <laughs> heckled this little boy. A little boy. Man, he was crying. I'm like, Jet fans are brutal, brutal man. Brutal. This is a 10-year-old kid. But his dad, his dad couldn't do anything. It was just him. He was way outnumbered. Ooh, he just brutal. took his son and left. <laughs> That's when you know when you know you're about to get your beat. <laughs> you yeah. just like, hey, man, yeah. just go ahead and take this L. Yeah. You know, talk smack on Jet Twitter afterwards or whatever. They are brutal, bro. They are brutal. But I, once, I, I'm, and they, they can as quickly... As fast as they love Aaron Rodgers right now, right? Quickly to turn around. Oh yeah, they will. It will they will flip the switch will, on yeah. him in a heartbeat. He don't, can go from don't let them go two oh, and four. Yeah, two, they, yeah, yeah, out the gate know. two and four, and it might not even be his fault. Man, they will turn on and see the thing. And the, the problem is he's not used to that. And we know Aaron Rodgers how he's kind of surly, right? Toss right. back. Doesn't right. like too much the media. Right. Only toss to what's my man's name over at ESPN now. Uh, Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee. Yeah. Basically, that's his boy. You know right. what I mean? So Sleeveless. Sleeveless. You know, nothing against Pat. You know, yeah, yeah. You just put the guns out. But at the same time, like, the, when the media wants to turn on you, Ooh. as great, I love, Michael Strahan's my Ooh. guy. Ooh. Love yeah. him to death. You see Michael Strahan smiling on GMA? Right. I covered Michael when he was with the Giants when I was working in New York. Right. Michael wasn't like that. No. Surly. Yeah. Surly. Yeah. No. Patrick Ewan wasn't like that. Right, right, right. I've seen... The media. Right. I've heard the media in New York talking about wait until what you see. Wait until you see my column tomorrow. Mm. I've heard them say that. Mm. Wait till you see my I'm going to kill them. I mean, that's that's how they are, bro. <laughs> so they'll turn. So if Rogers Aaron can't adapt to that. He got has thick skin. Going to have some issues, man. Put your big boy pants on. You better put your big boy pants Thing on. Thing is, though, Mike, we still don't know who's on Hard Knocks, and everyone's like, got to be the Jets. Got to be the man, Jets. Man, yeah. Robert Sala is talking. He doesn't want to be on there real quick. Hey, I, I, I got it. We're only on, out of time. Uh, okay. uh, Fat Tuesdays. Fat the Tuesday documents. documentary is out on Amazon Prime. It's doing well. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. It made 100%? 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. It made the best documentary of 2002 on the New York Times list. So it's great. It's it's funny. It's great. You laugh. It educates you, inspire you, enlighten you. 
and uh, it's just a wonderful piece of work. Yeah, it's great. It is great. I'm, you saw it, TJ? Oh yeah, a couple. I've watched it twice, as a matter. Oh wow! Of it's Thank about you. yeah, about the uh, the black comedy scene here yeah, in, the, uh, in L.A. in the '90s during oh, yeah. the riots the and everything that was going comedy on. Comedy night, period. Yeah, it was good. Hey man, I'm proud of you too because Thank I remember you. I've been knowing you for a long time. When I first got here, ten years ago. You were working I'm on working it on then. Crying. I, I'd been on this show before when I was talking about what I was working on. And yep. to finally see it come out and do well uh, is it, amazing. That's great, man. I'm happy for you and everything that you're doing. Thank uh, you, all man. The, the projects that you got going on. Uh, we're actually working on something, too. Yeah. You know, behind yeah. the scenes, too. Oh, we'll see yeah. what happens right there. Might be able to help you out, TJ. Might be able to help you out. Just <laughs> oh, help me that's get you in first class. class. You're going to put you in first class. <laughs> You're going to upgrade your TJ. <laughs> upgrade your air, because the air coach is bad. Yeah. You're going to be able to get some warm nuts. Oh, with yeah. your, oh, <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in the bowl. Warm towel. Oh, <laughs> in the bowl. Towel. Yeah, yeah. In the hot towel. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. Towel, though. Catch The Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 